We're on the third level of evaluating logarithms here. Let's see how it goes. Uh, they're just jumping right into the log base 25 of 125. All right, uh, let's see. Hmm. I, let's just see where it takes us. It's called an X. So that's base 25, exponents X, 125's on, All right, well, they're both base five, so I think that's kind of where they're going with this. So we'll rewrite uh, 25 as five squared. All of that's to the x. 125 is five times five times five, five cubed. An exponent to an exponent, that's laws of exponents. One level down from exponents means multiply. That's how I remember. So this turns into five to the two x, equals five cubed. You remember, if the bases are the same, the exponents are the same. So that means two X is equal to three. Divide by two, divide by two, X is three halves. Okay, so I think the game here is gonna be making the bases the same in some way. Yep, that's what they're doing. Rewrite it. Log, log of 25. <clears throat> I already see where this is going. 1 over 125, but we can get there. Equals our x. Base is 25. Exponents x. Fill in the last number. Start to manipulate it. We want the same base, so we have to go from there. That's five squared to the x. 25 is five squared. 125 is five cubed. Do you remember how, what makes a number flip into the bottom? What kind of exponent? What exponent means reciprocal? Negative exponents. So it's a bunch of laws of exponents on these. Well, logarithms are exponential equations. Just rewriting it so it's a lot of rules of exponents here. So this now becomes five. Oh, I, that should have been an X right there. That's what we're looking for. Five to the two X equals five to the negative three. So that, make sure you kind of recognize that that's what this turns into. Negative exponents means reciprocal. So if the bases are the same, exponents are the same. Divide by two, divide by two, x is equal to negative three halves. Yep. Same game. Next problem, see if it's any different. Same as the last one. Uh, we, we got some different numbers here, so let's go ahead and go for it. You, you have to recognize there's going to be some sort of common base for all of these. So, but follow the procedure. First thing, rewrite the problem. Set it equal to our unknown. So that helps us kind of solve for it. Rewrite it. Our base is 64. Logarithms are always equal to the exponent. And 64 is power of eight, eight times eight. Keep doing that. Caught myself that time. It's an X if I can make it. And then uh, one over 128. Not a power of eight, is it? Hmm. Uh, 64. So it looks like we're going to, well, I mean, it, it just gets a little bit more in, in depth here. We, we have to have a common base. 64, I don't recognize as much. 8, I do. 8 is also a power of 2. So that means these are probably powers of 2. There's nothing. Uh, 4 times 4. It could be 4s also. 
all right? So 64 has a lot of different kind of, let me get rid of that one. So, I mean, it's just kind of trial and error on this one. So 64 is going to be kind of our, and 128. It's doing both at the same time so we can kind of see how things link together. So it's either twos or fours. So 64, I'm going to go fours first. So uh, two is kind of my, my last straw. So I'm kind of going with the biggest numbers first and going down. So let's see if one, four goes into 128. 128 divided by four, which is 32. Is 32 some sort of power of four? Uh, four, 16, 64, no. So that means this has to be some sort of power of two problem. So twos are what we want. And I'll just, twos shouldn't, well, 128 divided by two, so I don't wanna make any mistakes. All right, yep. So two times 64, 64 is two times 32, two times 16, two times eight, two times four, two times two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is really two to the seventh. And notice this is two times 64. So that means uh, 64 is really two to the eighth. All right, so 64 is two to the eighth. All right, and you can break it down if you need to into the prime factors or the powers of two, but we got it now. So this now becomes uh, two to the eighth, to the x equals one over two to the seventh. Uh, I went in the wrong direction. <laughs> Eight, sixth, it's one power smaller. Uh, it's getting to be a long day already. <laughs> All right, so there we go. You can even count on your fingers too if you want. That's one of the few times I count on my fingers. Two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, I can't get, I got, I got six fingers held up, <laughs> so two to the six. All right, which now turns into two exponent to an exponent means multiply six X equals negative exponent there. Bases are the same means exponents are the same six X equals negative seven. That one was kind of a little bit tricky. You just have to break it down. Trial and error on some of these, no either, no easier way. Or this one at least for me. Negative seven divided by six. Got it. Okay. See if they did any, no, it's like, it's not magic. You just gotta experiment to figure it out, so.